in the next video on comprehension in this unit we are going to learn the next biography that is biography of arunima sinha the most well known character for climbing mount everest now you might have a question why we have to study biography first of all it is very essential to integrate curriculum as well as technology if we are going to read biography immediately we can come to know which kind of technology is invented by the person and definitely it can be a very good practice to expose ourselves and we can write well also we can understand historical periods in which the story or that person took the birth also we can acknowledge a hero who is going to be here narrated and we can have scientific contribution of that person also we can appreciate the art whichever the person is expert in it secondly it provides a very good inspiration you may be going to read the biography of well known character it may be swami vekanand it may be mother teresa or it may be sudha chandran or it may be the science person that is stephen hawking but it provides a very good inspiration motivation boosting so that you can develop you can design your own future also it teaches life lessons which are the possibilities of our life and accordingly we can be prepared for facing all that possibilities so that's why we have to read the biographies now you can have different kinds of biographies but today we are going to learn the biography short biography of such a person who is amputee just like a sudha chandran just like a stephen hawking we can have this character who is greatly interested to become mountaineer so let us we will see before that i would like to give you reflection spot my reflection spot is here list a few people who have climbed mount everest despite their physical difficulties do you know secondly how can you be a extraordinary person so try to give think try to think about these two questions now this article is written and it is published online and first of all it is ex it is written here that throughout this article bachendri paul and arunima sinha both are the characters whose information is given by the writer now as per the writer's opinion the writer is giving us information giving a short biography of arunima sinha arunima sinha she became that is mountaineer who climbed mount everest and she is the second female amputee in spite of her handicapness she climbed mount everest successfully and for that she was also awarded padma shri award in 2015 before her ronda graham from usa she climbed mount everest she was also first female amputee who climbed mount everest in october 2011 and from her she might have taken here some sort of inspiration so that she had taken this decision now the writer put forth the history how arunima sinha was so arunima sinha she was having greatly interest in sport so she was sport enthusiast from early childhood she was keenly interested in playing volleyball also so she was a national volleyball player and she wanted to make a career in paramilit paramilitary force which is similar to the military force which is not here actually armed forces but by accepting job in paramilitary force she wanted to keep herself connected with the sport as well as make a income out of that so that was her decision but the life was wetting with different strategy or we can say the tragedy happened with arunima she unexpectedly met with an accident in april 2011 because when she was traveling in padmavati express from lucknow to delhi at that time she was attacked by local robbers who wanted to snatch a golden chain which was gifted to her by her mother in this she gave a tough fight because of her very good athletic body but she could not sustain forever and ultimately the local robbers they 
treated her very badly they thrown her out of a running train on the parallel track another train was coming and it run over her legs so in this way immediately she was shifted to the hospital and doctor had no any option and that's why they have to cut her leg from knee so that was the tragedy happened with arunima sina after this so many incidents they were tormenting her and some of the incidents were really boosting so when she was lying on a hospital bed she was able to read an article about mount everest at that time she decided to climb it in the meanwhile she read so many biographies such as yura singh and many of the people who won over the cancer and they bounce back so that people became the greatest motivation for her the people who were coming to meet her they were passing the comments that any she is not able to play volleyball anymore what a tragedy happened with this girl even then some of the absurd theories were prepared that they were making some sort of fake theories they were saying that arunima she was traveling into the train without ticket and that's why she jumped even then it was a suicidal attempt like that very rubbish statements were made and it was making her hurt so she decided to give tough answer and prove her capacity so her journey to become mountaineer started when she got discharged from hospital immediately she went to meet bachendri paul after meeting her bachendri came to know what are her ambitions and she realized her ambition after that she never went to her home directly she joined nehru institute of mountaineering where basic training of climbing the mountains was provided so after basic course of training she started doing rigorous training of 18 months in the meanwhile she was able to climb the peaks climb the islands and in this way she was preparing herself mindly as well as physically to climb the mount everest so when she started her climbing mount everest at that time she was having sherpa her local guide who refused first of all to give her company but later on by looking at her inspiration by looking at her desire strong desire will power he was ready to give her company so their expedition started on 1st april 2013 and the incident at death zone when arunima reached the very topmost summit that was 3500 feet at that time she was able to see so many dead bodies of mountaineers were scattered all over even she looked at bangladeshi mountaineer who was taking last breath and it was really very much discouraging incidents but arunima never stop herself and she told her sherpa that she can't be she can't die anymore before conquering this mount everest so when she reaches to that top she raised indian tricolor and put forth picture of swami vivekanand and take some of the photographs in the meanwhile she was having some problem in taking the oxygen but god is always with them who have strong aspirations so such thing happened with arunima also so arunima was able to come back with a very good physique and in this way she proved herself and she was very much determined that was also here proved after that she also conquered so many mountains from seven continents the list is given there so after climbing mount everest she also climbed Ma- that is mount kilimanjaro in africa then mount elbrus in europe mount kosciusko in australia mount aconcagua in south america and mount cartons so different types of mountains she was able to climb so that was her strong desire also apart from climbing mountains she also aspired to run full fledged academy for under privileged handicapped children especially poor one also she established her Shahid Chandrasekhar Azad Viglang Khel Academy for the handicapped children who are poor. The motto behind this was to provide best sport facility to poor and handicapped children. 
also whichever the prize money she was getting in this she was using it for nurture this academy forever so such was the character of arunima sina i hope you might have understood the next great character in spite of her handicapness she was able to achieve whatever she want but for that it requires strong determination so thank you very much thank you once again